Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nelson Brink, and we are one. Today, I want to talk about uh, my new studio, but not really, like, but, but kind of. Like, it's coming together. We're going to get some uh, gaming uh, stuff back there to show that I have some clout, or at least that I can collect things. <laughs> um, really, though, today's topic is very, very simple. What should you do if you break your device? Now, if it's software-related to where if your device is not turning on, you're getting a black screen, a forever loading screen, you might want to just reinstall SteamOS. Um, there is also a recovery option, but sometimes, especially if you don't care what's getting replaced on the device, um, it's just easier to boot up the recovery image that you can find. I'll have a link to it in the description below of the ISO, the image that you can put onto a thumb drive and put it into your deck and be able to boot off that and just recover it. You could even grab some items off your disk as long as your disk is not corrupted or the OS hasn't, you know, corrupted the data enough in there. Now, with that, you can just reformat the drive, put SteamOS back on it, and just have it. It will feel brand new, essentially. That's if it's software-based. It starts to get a little hairier now. If you try to do that method... You, re you refresh and everything, and it still boots into kind of like a random, weird, uh, very buggy OS. You go to desktop, things don't quite function how they're supposed to. Your hard drive is probably corrupting. You're going to want to contact Valve, especially within the first year. Um, and right now, I mean, everyone is within their first year. If you're having issues, contact Valve. And I even say this outside of RMA. There are times where it's it's going to be charged, but it might be the cheapest route you can go as they have a whole um, a set of facilities or at least third parties that are willing to fix this. And oftentimes I'm even seeing things that would probably be outside of the RMA and the, the warranty without charging being fixed. People dropping their decks even letting them know that things broken and they fix it. Um, and so I wouldn't say go to Valve and, and be like, yep, I dropped it. It's my fault, but don't be dishonest either. Just the, the triggers, I know those can have issues. If you drop it or nudge it, sometimes those triggers can break. Um, just let them know. They've been pretty gracious in the past, and there's a good chance that they'll just fix it for you. It does take a couple of weeks. It does suck, but typically it's going to be free and how and, and you're not having to worry about it. So you get it back. If it still doesn't work, you can send it back in. Pretty hassle free. Just you don't have your deck for that long, but at least it's better than having a broken deck. Now, if you want to try to fix it yourself, that's fine, but expect to, you know, have to spend money on it. You're like the hard drive dies. You're going to, have to spend money on a new hard drive to replace it with Steam. With Valve, you don't have to do that. If the uh, screen just goes out on you, if it has uh, tearing, if it has issues, that could be a failing GPU. It could be the screen having issues. Um, also, triggers if they don't actuate properly. If the joysticks are really off and you recalibrate it and it doesn't work, that's an issue. And even with some of these issues where you can fix it in the software, it's probably a good idea to start the RMA process with Valve. They will most likely go through the different processes and different um, sections and help you to get to a good state without having to send it in. And so one way or another, I think if you have a valid reason, which is if it just doesn't function how it's supposed to, I think that's valid enough starting the RMA process through Steam with your deck. That's my biggest recommendation. It's kind of silly, but I think a lot of people kind of question that and try to maybe open it up or fix it themselves. Don't open it up as much as you can. Uh, it's been said that it voids the warranty now. Um, I don't know. I think some people have opened their decks and still had it replaced, but I definitely would say don't open it unless you know what you're doing. If it's broken, just don't open it and send it in. It's just going to cost you a lot less or nothing at all and you're pretty much guaranteed to have your deck fixed. So definitely, definitely, like if you're going to take anything away from this, having issues, RMA it. Just go to your Steam account. Go to the uh, essentially um, their support section, and you can request, hey, I have issues with this piece of hardware. 
It's the Steam Deck that I recently purchased. It will have a bunch of purchase items, especially if, you, if you've done a bunch of hardware purchases. It will have a bunch of those in, the, in there. And you can request it and start that process, and they'll work with you. Um, and I've seen many people go through this already in the community, and it, they've successfully gotten their deck back and fixed. And I haven't seen anyone get charged yet, but I've heard and read it people getting charged. So we'll s- we'll see how that works in the future. Is that does get kind of pricey on Valve's uh, side, but customer service wise, it is killer. And another reason to own the deck over some of these other competitors, if you want to call them competitors, I guess. Um, and I'm a little bit of a fanboy of Steam Deck, but I just want to make sure that people are a and don't try to fix it themselves right off the bat, unless you know what you're doing. Obviously, then this video might not be for you. It's for the people that are coming from these consoles, or this is one of their first devices that's like uh, essentially a computer. Or honestly, if you have a console and you're having issues like that, RMA it. Like, go there first before you try to fix it yourself, unless it's outside of warranty and they say they're not going to fix it. Never hurts to check. So always check. That's this video. Simple as that. I know. It's a very simple, very repetitive video. I've just seen so many people make the mistake of not rma so at the end of the day let me know in the comments below did you have to rma your device is your device having issues is this good advice what would you add on to this advice for other people coming into the comment section and thank you guys for watching and supporting and also make sure to check out the description below all the goodies down there everything that is down there um will help support your deck or just maybe a part of your life to add a little joy we also have a discord server where we chat and do fun things every week and with that like subscribe bash that bell with your crowbar because i don't think i said that and check out my other videos and i'll catch you guys later peace out later